Welcome back, welcome back. We're looking at learning aim A. We're looking at A1, and this is also going to be linked directly to P1. So A1 is what you'll find on the specification, and P1 is what you'll find on the assignment brief. They more or less cover exactly the same things. In some cases, you might have a bit of crossover into A2, but for this one, A1 and P1 are exactly the same thing. So it needs you to examine systems and services that form part of the Internet of Things. Again, this is the overarching thing we're trying to answer. But P1 itself says you need to detail the purpose and application of systems and services that make up IoT. And how do we do that? Here we go. So these are the things that I copied again directly from the specification. Nothing here is stuff I, I didn't even Google for this part. I literally just went on the specification, copied it over, and you guys should do the same thing. Or you can go look for a list yourself. It doesn't really matter which way you do it once you have the information there and it's correct. So purpose of systems and services. So the purpose is to improve productivity. What does it mean to improve productivity? Now, I do recommend every single thing in the assignment that you, you mention. So for example, this could be one of your points and it might as well be. When you get to this, give a sentence or two describing or explaining what that actually means and give an example as well. So when you so this term improve productivity simply means that you can do more in a shorter space of time with either less money or less energy or whatever the case is. So when you think about it like this, you have a factory and when you have humans working, making something, they're going to need to sleep. They're going to need to eat. They're going to need to go home. Whereas if you have robots in a factory, they can work 24 seven as long as they've been designed to do so. So that in, improves productivity, It produces more, you're more productive improve safety and security smart cameras at my house i have about three or four smart cameras so i know every time the front door opens i know every time um, someone goes into the backyard for example so this is again explain or describe what this is and give an example and it can be a personal example so improve safety and security we have home smart devices that can do this it doesn't just have to be a camera we have those door locking systems as well. So as soon as the door opens, you know the door has been opened. So as soon as the window opens, you know the window has been opened. Um, you might even have things like smart fire alarms. So if the fire alarm does go off, not only does it make that really loud, annoying sound, but it also alerts your phone as well. And then you can look on the camera and see what's going on. And if it's actually a fire, you can contact the fire brigade or you could just call someone who's in the house saying, listen, you left something on the stove and it's smoking, right? So you improve efficiency and effectiveness. So this is very closely linked to this one. When you read it, it kind of means the same thing, but the, what they've said here is auto monitoring. So when you improve efficiency, you don't have to be there. Improve effectiveness, you don't have to be there. So if I'm automatically monitoring something from far away, that's one of the, um, the purposes of IoT. So think about it like this. Um, you're a researcher. I think on one of the unit one papers from first year for most of you guys, you're, do, you're a researcher working for the Scottish weather something, something, and you need to measure the amount of rainfall that occurs every year. You don't need to be in a particular location. You could leave an IoT device there with like a water level sensor and every time it rains it will detect how high the rain has fallen and so on and so forth okay so auto monitoring finally we have improve experience and satisfaction and again all of these sound or seem like they're very closely linked together because in truth and in fact they are so improve experience and satisfaction we have smart home right now i have something in my house called google home which means that i actually don't have to get out of my bed to turn my heating on i don't have to get out of bed to ask it who is on the camera i don't have to get out of bed to i don't know find my phone i can simply say to it okay google and it will just that's it just pinged in the background because i'm at home recording this and it will just do what i tell it to do so it the user experience is greatly improved for me and uh, the application of iot systems and services in different sectors so here are some of the sectors so these are the sectors that you could use so we have home uh, including energy monitoring and control systems, Hive, Nest, and smart meters. Again, Hive um, is the one from Amazon, I believe, and Nest is the one from Google or vice versa. It doesn't really matter, to be fair. We have entertainment, and the examples of this are motion tracking in video games, controllers, and mobile devices. We have health and well-being, including aiding and promoting good health. So wearable devices, smartwatches can track your heart rate. They can tell people when you stumbled. 
there's so many features baked in and that's called monitoring of vital signs example pacemakers and heart rate monitors a pacemaker is one that's actually wired to your heart directly so for people who who've had open heart surgery they have a pacemaker and if something is going bad with either your heart or the pacemaker because it's wired directly to your heart and because it's a smart device it will actually maybe ping up on your phone or on your doctor's phone or on your mom or dad's phone or your child's phone before something goes catastrophically wrong. Next, we have industrial and transportation, including machine control example to optimize machine performance in manufacturing. We already mentioned this in the previous section, but I just wanted to make sure I gave decent examples. And again, everything here was copied directly from the spec. We have road tolling example, electronic road toll passes using automatic number plate recognition systems and radio frequency identification technology. So a lot here, but simply put, you drive up to a gate, you don't have to tap a card or type a code in or anything. It looks at your number plate and says, okay, yeah, this person is allowed in. Or because you drive up to the thing and you have a card in the car, once you get relatively close, it just detects the card and allows you to go through. Next, we have retail and commerce. And again, these are the sectors. So that's a sector. Uh, where's the other one? This is a sector. Let's go back one. Another sector would be home. Another sector would be entertainment. Another sector would be home. Another sector would be health and well-being. And we're back to this one again. And next we have retail and commerce, including tracking and tracing objects and people in the supply chain. Example, order fulfillment and returns, advertisement and consumer involvement. Example, beacons to promote awareness. So there are so many sectors that you can find and you don't have to stick to the sectors on the spec. If you can find other sectors, there will be some overlap, obviously. If you can Google and find some some um, different sectors, once you reference those sectors, you should be good to go. So that's everything I have for this part. Now I'm going to jump over to my Word document here. So this is P1. P1 is going to be very, very short, but please make sure that you have enough detail and that you reference everything. So it says again for P1, describe the purpose and application of IoT systems and or services from different sectors. When we break this question down, it has three or four parts. Um, the first thing I would suggest everyone do is what is IoT? What does IoT mean? We know that it means Internet of Things, but give a decent definition. Go find a reference or two and put the references in. Next thing I would do, the sectors of IoT or the sectors which incorporate IoT. So IoT can have its own sectors right or, or we can have sectors that make use of iot very heavily so you can google search iot sectors i have a link here so when i post this word document you guys can just click on it and actually just go straight to the link or what i would suggest you do for some of you guys is rather than going and looking for your own list and researching everything individually steal the list of sectors that they gave you from the spec and it's down here i'm going to get to it anyway but steal those feel free to steal them that's perfectly okay Next thing I would do is to break down that overarching heading into two smaller questions. And the overarching heading again was describe the purpose and application of. So that's what I would do. Describe the purpose of IoT systems or so purpose first. And then I would describe the application of IoT systems and or services. So that's all I've done here. And again, the list I have here is directly copied from the spec. So again, we do it we use it the purpose of internet of things devices to increase productivity to increase safety and security to increase efficiency and effectiveness to increase user experience and satisfaction and what i would do again for each one describe each one and give an example either from the spec or from the internet and if it's from the spec or from the internet reference everything if you took it from the spec, simply reference the spec. Now you can go online and find the spec in multiple places. Um, or if you get it from the internet in like you Google searched uh, purpose of IOT, you can reference that list as well. This is another link here. And all this link does, I'm going to click on it now. It just takes me to Google and it's literally just, oh, I spelled it wrong, but the purpose of IOT was is what it was supposed to be. Next, we have application. So I just finished the purpose of IOT. Maybe I should put that there. Purpose of IOT. And I'm going to do application of IOT and the applications. Where can we actually use it? Or actually, how can we use it? And how we can use it? We can use it in homes. We can use it for health and well-being. We can use it for industrial and transportation. We can use it for retail and commerce. This is not an exhaustive, an exhaustive list. This is not every single thing. 
but these are some of the things that they put on the spec again so you know what steal it from the spec and again i would go through and give a description for each one and give an example so if you did home right um you don't need to describe what home is but you you can describe some of the things that actually are done in the home and again this screenshot here that you can see this image here this was taken directly from the spec and it says home including energy monitoring and control systems hive nest and smart meters this was what was on the powerpoint in a previous section of this video steal it make use of it so describe each one and give an example either from the spec or from the internet and please reference everything if you do not reference you will fail some examiners will look at your work and say oh this person just woke up this morning and knew everything about iot knew everything about the the purpose of iot knew everything about the, um, the application of iot they didn't reference a single thing impossible so reference please go back and reference everything and that's actually p1 done you don't need to do anything else because p1 simply needs you to describe a description is just giving detail using your words or your sentences or whatever to explain in in enough detail so someone that has no idea about iot can read your thing and have a decent understanding so each of these for example for purpose of iot for each of these i would make them a mini heading so remember in my last video i spoke to you guys about um, doing styles and formatting so what i would do let's go back to view navigation pane uh, p1 is the main heading so i would say maybe what is iot is going to be heading two so again you click on it you go to home you go to heading two all right give two okay i can remove this part but let's just leave it for now and then the next thing i would do is maybe describing the purpose of iot that's another heading so again i can click on heading two for people that like to use a shortcut you can just do control alt and number one on the keyboard and that gives you heading one actually i need heading two control alt and two gives you heading two i'm going to do application of iot control alt two it's the same thing as me highlighting this and clicking on heading two it does exactly the same thing so that's p1 finished in my opinion with enough detail with your references is finished without your references you will 100 percent fail so thank you guys for watching hopefully that was useful